The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is arguably one of the best camera systems on any modern smartphone, but are they faking these moonshots? I've been getting some amazing astro photos from this phone. In fact, I've actually taken the SIM card out of my iPhone 14 Pro Max and put it into the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and I'm using this now as my daily carry phone. It's amazing for astro, it's amazing for photos, and it's pretty bloody good for video too. Right now though, there is a lot of talk coming from from all sorts of social media about faking these moonshots. And there's one Reddit user, I Break Photos, who did some testing, and a lot of people are just commenting on this. Some of my favorite YouTubers out there have been putting their two cents in the ring and giving their opinion about what this person has done. No one's actually replicating what he's done there. They're just commenting on it. So I'm gonna replicate it. In a nutshell, what this person has done, they've downloaded a image of a full moon, and they've created some blur around. So what they've done is get this photo, put it on a monitor, step back, zoom in with the phone, and take a moon photo. They're saying it's a fake photo, so we're gonna do it. So right here, there's the photo on the monitor, I'll step back far enough, zoom in, take the photo, bam. Okay, it seems that I break photos is actually onto something here. There's details in this photo that aren't on the original. It's added craters, it's added shading, and it knows what should be there, and it's added it by itself. But is it fake? This certainly isn't a Huawei photo where you can take photos of a ping pong ball and all of a sudden it's a moon. This is a legit, it knows what the moon is, but it's added details to it. Is it fake though? What does fake mean? Let's go to Google, have a quick look. What is fake? It is not genuine, it's an imitation or it's counterfeit. Is this photo of the moon genuine? Yes or no? That's up to you to decide, not up to me to decide. I've got my opinions, but there is a place for this in photography with mobile phones. You could say this is all computational photography. This is AI, artificial intelligence or machine learning. Different things that I read say that the phone knows what the moon is and it's going to add details into it. Is it fake? I don't know, I don't know, I've got my opinions on it. All phones now have some sort of computational photography. All the astro stuff that I do, there's a lot of computational photography in that. The iPhone 14 Pro Max for astro photography, I'll put this sucker on a tripod, go to night mode, get 30 seconds, it's going to give you, uh, the metadata shows that it's three images of 10 seconds each, blended together, then it blends them together for focusing and for exposure. The Pixel astrophotography does something very similar. It takes for a four and a half minute photo, or four minutes and six seconds, or something like that, it gives you uh, 15 images, or well, doesn't give them to you, but that's what it does, 15 to 16 images of 16 seconds each, the metadata proves this, and it blends them together for stacking. It lines all the stars up, brings them together, and eliminates, helps to eliminate the noise. That's computational photography. Both of those phones are giving you things that are actually physically there. It's not saying this is what should be there and putting it in there, it's taking a photo of what's there. The moon here though, I think is a little bit different. Now I'm not bashing the Galaxy phones here, I think there's absolutely a place for this. In fact, over there on our Facebook group, The Bloody Legends, that's all about mobile photography and our banner page there right now was from one of the users there, Ron Duval, and he took the photo that you can see right here with the S22 Ultra and look at the artistic talent that's there behind this photo with the moon, with the tree, there is definitely a place for this. But is it faking it? I'll leave that to you guys. If you really want a fair dinkum, rigid edge photo of the moon with a phone, there's no way around it, put the bloody thing on a telescope and get a photo of the moon. Everything else, well, is AI, machine learning, or is it fake? You tell me, link down the bottom, catch you later. Thank you.